In this video, let's go over the spontaneity of reactions by looking at the Gibbs free energy equation. First of all, let's remember that reactions can be spontaneous but still kinematically unfavorable. What that means is that let's say you had some typical energy diagram, but for this energy diagram, even though the reaction is highly exothermic, you have a very large activation energy in order to get from the reactants to the products. That means that this reaction will probably proceed very slowly unless you add a lot of heat into this reaction. But you can see that this reaction is still thermodynamically favorable because the reactants go from something that is higher in energy to products that are lower in energy. One thing that might not be completely intuitive about spontaneous reactions is that compounds want to be in the lowest energy conformation. So we as humans want to have energy. We're happy when we have energy and we feel like we can do something. On the other hand, if we don't have any energy, we don't feel well. However, when you're talking about a reaction, you want to go from a state of higher energy to a state of lower energy. That is what makes a reaction spontaneous. Another factor in spontaneity is the randomness of something. Most of us like things to be in order. For example, we want our rooms to be clean so we don't get yelled at. However, for a chemical reaction, you want things to go to other things that are more disordered. That is what makes a reaction more thermodynamically favored. Let's look at the chemical implications of what we just talked about in more detail. Let's say our change in enthalpy was negative and our change in entropy was positive. There's more randomness in the products and the products are at a lower energy so this would always be spontaneous. Similarly, we can see what happens if the change in enthalpy is positive and the change in entropy was negative. This will never be spontaneous because it's not thermodynamically favored. Now let's look at this top right square. We see that the change in enthalpy is positive, which is bad, but the change in entropy is positive, which is good. So let's go down here to see our equation for Gibbs free energy to see how this works out. We see that this number is a positive number, and for a reaction to be spontaneous, we want a negative number overall. So that means that we need this to be a much bigger positive number because we have a minus sign here and if you minus by a bigger positive number you get a negative number so if the entropy is positive we need the temperature to be so that this whole number is very positive this basically means that we want a high temperature so spontaneous if t large by a similar argument, we can see that this is only spontaneous for small temperatures. You should try working this one out by yourself. 